Well, when you're talking about Elvis Presley, you're talking about the king, and you're talking about one of the nicest young men I ever met. And it, it's a little long, but uh, the story, and uh, I gotta be on the set in December, <laughs> but I'll tell it to you anyway. He had a manager called Colonel Parker, Tom Parker. And I was with the William Morris Agency, which is a great agency, especially the agents there. Every Tuesday, they say, have a nice weekend. <laughs> and uh, somebody from the agency, I think it was Harry Kalchheim or somebody, said, I just heard from Colonel Parker. He wants you to audition somebody. I said, who? He said, well, I don't know, it's some young fellow. He's from down south. Elvis something. I said, Elvis, that's his name? Elvis? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I took the rehearsal studio again on 7th Avenue, the one from way back, and I auditioned him. And he's jiving and he's shaking and he's wiggling and he's wriggling and he's doing his style. And uh, I said, hey, he's handsome, he's good looking. He's got a different sound and all that. So I booked him on a show on the, uh, not the uh, Texaco show. This is in the 50s. Oh, I booked him from uh, a carrier. And I don't remember who's on the show, Harry James, Buddy Hackett, Joe Williams was singing, and uh, Buddy Rich was at the drums, and Esther Williams, and the extra added attraction was Elvis Presley, and nobody knew who the hell he was. And uh, he walked in very, oh, bashful, and good looking, very cute, and he just handed Harry James for the rehearsal one sheet of music, a sheet. He said, well, where's the orchestration? He says, this is it, I played a guitar. Bottom line, he goes on. The f 10 days later, I got about 400,000 pan letters, not fan letters, pan letters, and blaming me, we'll never watch you again, Uncle Milty, when you put that vulgar man that jives and wiggles his backside and his butt. It's disgusting. Oh, the, fan, the pan letters get worse, and they're blaming me. Who else? I got a half a million. I had to put people on to open them. Half a million letters on them, blaming me about Presley. Without a, a butt, you could just turn around. I got on the phone, and I called Colonel Parker. I said, I have in front of me here in the office, oh, hundreds of thousands of letters. Oh, he's about Elvis? I said, yeah, but they're all pan letters. They're not, what do you mean pan letters? I said, all I called you up is to this, to tell you this, Colonel, you have a star on your hands, right? When you get a half a million letters on somebody that must be on everybody's mind and everybody's tongue, you know you got a star. So that's what I, and this is before, uh, before uh, he, he went on the Sullivan show and Sh Sullivan put the screen in front of him so he wouldn't let the audience see him wiggle. But uh, that's the truth about Presley. <laughs>